Okay, uh, the final settings after a few tweaks uh, that worked with this Corona version 1 motherboard is we have LK1, uh, open, LK2 short, LK3 open, and LK4 all open. Uh, S2 settings we had 2 and 5 on, rest all off. So uh, we attempted to find an glitch. It other uh, few changes we made. We cut the long CPU reset cable to 14 centimeter. As you can see, our console, uh, the controller is on. CR3 Lite has um, stopped attempting to glitch as it's already in uh, cell has been reloaded. Uh, with the Corona, uh, there is nothing comes up on the TV, so in order to obtain the CPU key, we have to use uh, JRunner, um, scan IP port and uh, get CPU key methods to obtain the CPU key. Alright, let's moving on to the JRunner side of the things. In order to uh, obtain the CPU key, this is the JRunner side. I've already done this, but I'll just go through one more time again. First thing first, in order to use JRunner scan IP range and get CPU key method, there are a few settings that you need to check first. Your subnet settings. Okay. And these are the subnet settings. Okay. At this stage, uh, I am on a 192.168.1 uh, range. If you are on 10.10, so you have to use your subnet settings from 0 to 255 so it will start from 0 to 255 and find the Xbox and obtain the CPU key from there so once that is done click OK next uh, simply click on scan IP range and it will uh, automatically you know scan all the possible IPs and pull the CPU key other I don't know whether it's it's a strange extremely strange thing but I just thought to let you know uh, I tried a number of times uh, the scan IP range method and uh, I know the console was booting Zell but the scan IP range was method wasn't working so what I did I changed the uh, the network port so I simply unplug my network port from the uh, that I was using from the router and just used a different network port I don't know eventually I, I better use a different network port uh, and I use the scan IP range method and it finally pulled out the CPU key so if you want to try that if it's still not working with you so try a few different network ports hopefully it will pull out the CPU key so finally we have our CPU key here loaded our NAND image is loaded next is to create image file the freeboot image as you can see over here all the uh, the settings have been loaded simply create image and it will create the freeboot image for us So it's creating the favorite image. The image is ready. Next, we'll be connecting our uh, Xbox 360 with the NandX, and we'll be writing that image.